Release the Quackers! <laughs> Got a couple more ducks still up in the house laying. So you might be wondering what's going on with the quacking and what's wrong. Well, it's like the whole flock has gone broody. They're all camping out in here, laying on eggs. Release the quacking! Hey, chicky, chicky, chickies. Hey, chicky, chicky, chickies. Huh? How's it going? How's it going, little chicky, chick, chicks? You're getting so big. Things good? Pretty soon you're going to be with the quacking. You don't have that much further to go, guys. Enjoy this lap of luxury. Good morning. Release the Kraken! How are you guys doing? You have chicks? Are there ducklings? I thought I heard a squeak. I know Jemima's not sitting on anything. She keeps getting up on a regular basis and not laying, so I know she's not doing anything. And you guys, I don't know. Can't tell with you. You just seem really broody, but you don't seem like you're good moms. Based on my calendar, you should have hatched your eggs today. Especially you. That one right there. Aw, but you're so cute. You're trying to make a little nest. Oh well. I'll still leave you gals be. You can do what you want. Based on everything that I've marked off in the calendar, they really should have hatched their ducklings today. So maybe I'm a little bit off and, you know, I know organic biological processes never follow a strict timetable, so I guess we'll have to wait and see.
<laughs> Samuel Puddle Duck is outside. He hasn't come outside in like a month. All right, let's go see what's inside. I'm really nervous. All right, we got one broody duck here. And we got the three broody ducks here. You see it? Oh, don't worry, Mama. I'm not gonna hurt your baby. Oh, there it is. There's at least one in there. Well, that's exciting. They're starting to hatch. There was definitely, I saw at least one duckling poking her head out. It looks like the mom's trying to keep them safe to hatch a few more. Now it's really important for me not to disturb the whole situation that's going on in there. I don't want the rest of the flock to try to attack them. I don't want to create a situation where the mom gets all freaked out and abandons the nest. I wanna just keep them hatching and happy. So I'm gonna stay away from the duck house, at least for most of today and avoid the temptation to keep watching because I really, really, really want to keep watching. So I just got back from the post office and Inside our mailbox, we have this letter. It's marked top secret, so I wonder what it is. Look at this. It's a, it's a drawing of a Cayuga duck. And there's a letter that goes with it too, so let me read it. Apparently the letter comes from Noah up in Anchorage, Alaska. And Noah says that uh, he and his family really enjoys watching our videos and the ducks. Apparently the puddle ducks are his favorite. He likes watching them waddle around and they actually just ordered two of their own for him and his brother Corbin. So uh, that's really cool. Well, thank you, Noah. I really appreciate the letter and I really, really appreciate the drawing. And I think I'm gonna put it up on our Instagram feed because I think it's so cool. All right, it's approximately six hours later. I'm gonna go in there and just do a quick little duckling check to um, see if I can see anything else going on, but do it in a way where I'm not disturbing the mom. It's okay, it's okay. I'm not here to disturb you. So you can see those three mamas. They are just chilling out. Pretty seems okay. If you guys notice, I uh, set up some extra water and food and a little bit more water for access for a baby. I hear peeping. Can you, I don't know if you guys can hear it. I feel like I hear at least one or two. There's a little duckling. That duckling looked pretty healthy and it looked dry. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe they're done? All right, I'm gonna get out of here and leave them be. So it's been about 24 hours since we last checked in on the hatching ducklings. And uh, let's see what we got. There's our little friend. See one. All right, moms, I'm gonna need to get up. I'm gonna need to get up for a second. Let's see who else is down there, can I? Okay, okay. Okay, 
okay, girls. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset the apple cart here. Did I just see the one, baby? Did you see the one? Did you see the one? Uh -huh. Whoa, okay, easy. Whoa. All right. Well, you are a good protective mama. Aw. I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna leave you be. I'm gonna leave you be. <laughs> well, she's definitely protective right now. So, I guess the good news is that that one baby duckling seems like it's alive and doing pretty well. And also good news, the mama duck there has some great protective instincts, so I'm not too worried about that baby because she seems like she's really locked in on her responsibility. The downside is it looks like I only got one duckling hatching here. I'm gonna give this a little bit more time and see how it goes. All ducks go to bed. 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 Everybody accounted for? All right, everybody's accounted for, including the little baby duck. I think I have a situation where it's three mommies and one baby. I just hope the baby's able to get to the food and water that I set out. I don't mean to disrupt them. I mean, like I've shown you, so there's water in there, there's food in the silver one, there's water in the red one. I'm just hoping everybody can get a little food and get a little water, that's all. I guess I could be disappointed by this outcome. I mean, only having one duckling is, uh, much less than I hoped to hatch out. I should feel thankful that my ducks are hatching their own ducklings. You know, khaki Campbells are a breed that aren't known for hatching. And so the fact that I even got one, I'll admit I'm kind of impressed with. I don't know if I'm gonna get any more. I'll keep those eggs out there for a couple more days and you guys will see in the next video whether or not we got more ducklings. But uh, for right now, it looks like we just got one little more duckling to add to the quacking this year. I'll see you guys in that next video.